All right, it's time for Money Tuesday. You know, you're a parent, maybe a good friend. Somebody asked you to co-sign a loan. Well, you might want to pump the brakes before agreeing to sign your name to that. Joining us to talk more about that, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, warning this morning, don't do it, right? Why yeah, not? I think just say no. Yeah. Oh, gosh, there's so many reasons. I think the first one is, is it shifts the relationship, mm -hmm. whether it's a friend or a, a sibling or a child. Um, I've seen so many cases of friends not becoming friends uh, through loans. And uh, so I think that's the first thing. And then the second thing is if you co-sign a note, you better be prepared to pay the loan. So the first thing is make sure you got the money. And the reason is commercial lenders are really good at assessing risk. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they say we're not gonna give you a loan, basically they say that it's a high likelihood that you're going to default. And uh, that defaults liable to end up on the co-signer. And so they're going to have to step up and do it. So, and, and you, you, so you need to have some protections in place because obviously this can impact a lot of different things if, if, if the loan's defaulted, right? Yes, yeah, so you risk your credit history. Mm -hmm. So the loan goes into default or they start missing payments. There's a chance that that bleeds over onto you. And then if you're trying to get a loan just separate from that, it can impair your ability to get a loan. And mm -hmm. the reason is when you give the bank a financial statement, you must li uh, list that cosign as a contingent liability. So the lender's gonna look at that and they're gonna go, he's probably gonna have to pay yeah, that right loan flag, as well. Right? So we may not loan him as much or we may charge him a higher interest rate. Yeah, and you don't want that. So what are some uh, protections you need to put in place just so that you don't get caught off guard? By well, assuming that you go ahead and do it anyway, mm -hmm. the first thing we'd recommend is, you, is that you get online access so that you can monitor the loan payments. And then the second thing I would do is I'd contact the lender and I would ask them to notify me if there are any missed payments so that I can step in right away and make sure that uh, the loan gets paid and it doesn't damage my credit history. And of course, uh, again, the best prevention would be just don't do it, right? <laughs> say no, you'll, uh, you'll save yourself an awful lot of headaches. Yeah, it's not a good idea. All right, Stuart Welsh from the Welsh Group, we always appreciate it. Thank you.